right now is 818 RWBTM 13 live Doppler view overlooking the skyline over Vance I-59 either Mercedes plant a lot of uh, Bama fans are likely sleeping in this morning and rightfully so looking at the forecast there are some spotty showers in the area right now of Tuscaloosa sprinkles at best in some locations but there could be some redevelopment of thunder showers between about two and six so here's what we see right now on the WBTM 13 live Doppler radar light rain showers sprinkles intermittent around uh, St. Clair County, Northern Shelby County, Jefferson County too, into Tuscaloosa. And there is several waves of rain that continue to push southward, but hitting a great deal of dry air. I mean, you look at this three hour loop and just within areas of central Alabama, I mean, check this out. You're looking at this animation starting at around 530 this morning and it continues to move towards East Alabama, but not much happening. Chilton County, we move closer to areas like Coosa County and it's still relatively dry. All right, that's what's happening locally. This is a revealed image of Ian looking at it potentially becoming a category one hurricane, maybe even a category two as it approaches the Cayman Islands could be a major hurricane category three as it skirts sections of western Cuba. Still several forecast models are suggesting that the eye wall, which is what these lines represent, could be as far east as closer to, I'd say, sections of central Cuba, or it may even wobble a little bit more west into areas in between the Yucatan Peninsula and Cuba. Now, that right there in itself, that's a Tuesday morning early, is going to be a huge decision on what's going to unfold after that. By Friday, that last animation has it making landfall around areas of the Big Bend region of Florida early Friday morning. Forecast models at this run still have it making that trek potentially a little bit more into areas in between Cancun and Havana into Tampa Bay, possibly as we head towards a Tuesday and Wednesday. It's 71 degrees in Birmingham. We've got a cold front coming in. It's 69 in Tuscaloosa, 66 in Coleman. So planning your day today, just pop the umbrella in your car. If you're going to be heading out, could see a couple of those showers later this afternoon. Temperatures, check this out. After the cold front, we have forecast low temperatures on Thursday that will be nearly 10 degrees cooler than our average. With that being said, we have a